Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me Alberto again. So for today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is just a few little, um, few little upgrades to the interior. So recently, I did the biggest come up that I've probably had. Actually, no, take that back because the Brembos were pretty expensive, but I got them pretty cheap. So uh, I actually made another really good come up. So what I got recently were some RSX Type S uh, OEM carpets, front and rear. Uh, so I actually found them on offer up for twenty dollars, and and I got so lucky because I was on my 15 at work and I had just seen it, it popped up 15 minutes right before I, I actually logged on to offer up and it was for 20 bucks for all of them. So given they are a little faded, it was a really good deal. I actually felt bad because a few people messaged me uh, that were down south uh, asking if I could pick them up for them but I had already messaged the guy prior to actually getting those messages. So I went and it's a pretty funny thing because right before I actually picked him up, he messaged me back because so many people had been offering him higher and higher um, offers that he asked me if I could just do 40. So $40 for OEM RSX Type S carpets is not bad at all because I had just seen some posted for $250. I'm not sure how much they go for. I'm guessing between $150 to $250. So I got an amazing deal on them. All I have to do right now is just refurbish them with some, uh, some, some dye and then I'll install them and give my old ones to my girlfriend. And then another thing that I'm also doing is on the uh, hatch so uh, so my speakers recently went out so I took out the old sub took out the spare tire and uh, the uh, and the foam was also really messed up so now in my in my trunk area I still have the carpet but it just sinks in and it doesn't look good so we are gonna be uh, basically covering that up I'm gonna be doing a custom little um, I'm just gonna be going to Home Depot and getting some wood to cover it over and then uh, attach the carpet right over that just so that it fills in that, that dip. And once I get that all done, I'm gonna mock up my new sub that I got so that when and I get my new sound system, which I am planning on getting a new double din and amp, I'll be able to wire everything up and it'll be good to go and it'll look good. It won't be like a huge box in the trunk, you know, taking up space. So that's what we're gonna be doing today and I'll take you along uh, and I'll take you guys along with me, so let's go. Alrighty guys, so here's Roxanne. I'm actually thinking about lowering the car just a little bit. Um, I kind of like the way it is right now. Oh look, you guys can kind of see like how messed up the bumper is. It's bad. Hey Chef. That's my dog Chevy. Love that dog. Alrighty, so let me show you guys what we got going on. Alrighty guys, so basically what I got right here are the RSX Type S carpets. And as you guys can kind of see, my trunk is kind of like, it's it's sunk in quite a bit because I don't have, well, you know, the foam piece, so it just sinks in. So right now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking measurements of, of the uh, carpet cover that covers the whole cargo area. And then from there, that's how I'll know what size I need to actually get the plywood all covered up. So I'm going to just do that and then we'll go to O'Reilly's for the paint for the fabric. So let's get this done. Alright, so I got the length all up for the cargo area. So basically it's going to be three feet, 3 feet in width and then 2 feet 5 inches in height. Uh, I got to figure out how to get this boy back inside because he doesn't like being alone. I'm sorry baby. <laughs> But yeah, so basically that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to head out to Home Depot and O'Reilly's and then come back and we'll get started with that stuff. Bro, let's go. Get a cold start for you guys. Alrighty guys, so we just picked up the vinyl and fabric from O'Reilly's right now. So I got two cans because I, you know, I just didn't, I want to... You, you could, you do. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I feel kind of dumb because I purchased this like... I feel dumb because I had purchased a can before for the carpet, but for some reason I can't find it, so I just bought two more. So if I find it, then I'll just probably use it for something else. Maybe... Yeah, I, don't, I really don't. Oh, maybe the uh, headliner so I can redo the headliner. But yeah, that's about it. So let's go to Home Depot and get that stuff done. 
Alrighty guys, so I got the plywood right there. It's not exactly plywood because I feel like plywood cutting it into that circular shape for the sub would be a little bit more difficult. Um, so this was $16, it was two by, it was two by four. Um, it's not terrible, I, I was gonna have them cut it custom for me but it was just taking too long so I just decided just to do it at my house. So yeah, we'll get that stuff started so let's go. Somebody just parked next to me so that was kind of awkward, I can't do this. Alrighty guys, so. Here is the paint, not anymore. So here it is. So all I have to do right now is just mask off the RSX Type S badge. And from there, I'm gonna paint with the fabric and vinyl. This one right here. You can get gloss or matte. It doesn't really make a difference since we're gonna be using it on fabric. If you're using it on vinyl, it would make a huge difference. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna line these up over some cardboard so my parents don't get mad if I get paint everywhere else. And I'll be right back, and I'm going to mask these right now. Cool. So now that everything's masked up, I am going to be start painting. Uh, you guys might be able to tell, like, all of, like, the little imperfections, like the stain and all that. I've already washed the carpets already, so they're already clean and ready to go. So uh, we're going to do the first pass. So I'm going to start by going uh, side to side. Then I'll let them sit for about 5 to 10 minutes and then go vertical and then just keep going side to side, up and down. Just kind of switch it off every now and then. So let's get it. Alrighty guys, so this is the first pass and it's already made quite a huge difference. Uh, I went a little heavier on the passenger side one than the driver side. More because I was getting a little bit more comfortable with it. So uh, yeah, I'll probably just go over this one just a little bit more on the uh, vertical passes. But for right now, I'll let it wait for about 5 to 10 minutes. Alrighty, so I forgot to get the second coat, but look at how good these are actually starting to turn out. They look a lot better than how they did before. Uh, I'll probably do maybe two more coats and then I'll finish it up and let it sit for about a day or two so it can cure. So let's get the third coat going. As you guys can see, I've already cut the uh, wood that I got from Home Depot right here. Uh, so what I've applied right here is just some, uh, some noise insulation. I'm going to roll it right now and then I'll get my sub and then kind of like draw or sketch out where the sub would actually... I hear something flying. There it is. I was going to grab it. Oh. <gasps> But yeah, so basically I'm gonna just gonna get the sub and I'm gonna kind of trace it out right here where it would go so that when I actually get it installed, I know where to cut. So we'll do that real quick while the stuff dries. Alrighty, let's take off this masking tape and see how we did. Awesome. Not bad. So I did miss a few spots pretty close to the actual emblem. I'm not really tripping about that. I could just probably go over it with maybe like a Sharpie or something. Uh, I'm not really a perfectionist, but that's awesome. Don't do that. <laughs> Alrighty, let's check this one out. This is the driver's side. Awesome. Same thing, probably just go over it with like a little Sharpie or whatever. But still, way better than how it was before. Ooh, that is so nice. Oh my goodness, I'm actually very, I'm very happy with the way these turned out. Oh man, that is so clean. Awesome, cool. Success! Alrighty guys, excuse the mess. I just cleaned out all of my detailing stuff. And remember how I said I would find my old spray that I bought? Well, look at it. Right now it's all, uh, it's not wanting to focus on it. Right now it's all like wet and like peeling because this thing just like leaked everywhere. This is my girlfriend's base model, by the way. It's really nice, I helped her get to where it is right now and she helped me do some of the maintenance on it but yeah so everything's all in here 
fits perfectly it's not like super flush with everything i don't really care about that as long as it doesn't look all lumpy and everything i am satisfied with it i'll be able to put all of my detailing stuff underneath it along well my intake didn't really fit that well but everything else should be able to fit under there perfectly fine Alrighty guys, so that was a pretty successful day off. Uh, I was able to get the carpets redone and I was able to get the um, cargo space little uh, replacement thing done. Uh, I can't wait to get to new, uh, I can't wait to actually cut it out so I can fit the sub and get my new sound system in because it needs to happen. It's been about like maybe four months since I've had like actual music in my car. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, please let me know uh, and uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, or check out any more of my videos. I make more content for my RSX Type S, and uh, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you guys later. Hi.